Uh, hey guys, how's it going? Um, I am here for another coyote swap video and I am currently upside down. Um, I'm going to show you some of the wiring back here. Uh, mainly for the ignition and, you know, the few wires you have to connect when you're doing uh, the coyote swap. So first off, you can see that I'm underneath the steering wheel and the only thing you really have to remove is this piece right here. This is, you know, underneath the steering wheel, uh, right above your legs. There's going to be a bracket behind it, a metal bracket. You have to remove that as well. And so, you know, you're looking at the steering wheel. You come down and around and you are underneath the car. And the first thing you're going to see is this box. Ah, <laughs> eh, I hate that. All right. So this box is basically um, where all the ign ignition wires are that happen from the ignition. So I did some testing and for SN95 owners specifically, this white wire is going to be your um, like starter request switch. This is the important one. I went around all of these with multimeters and this is the one that pops off when I turn the starter on. So this is going to be your, um, like I said, sort of request. And as far as I can tell, all of the rest of these light up um, on the multimeter when you turn the key even just on. So all of these can probably be very viable um, engine, like, you know, uh, constant 12 volt sources for the other control pack wiring. Uh, I'm going to test them all quick, make sure they actually turn off when the key isn't in the run position. But other than that, it looks like those are the only wires you really have to worry about finding. All right. Yeah. So, um, I just did some testing and at the very least, uh, I think all of these wires turn off, but this wire, I'm just going to go with this gray, um, not gray, with this like tan white stripe uh, wire right there. That turns off when the key... <laughs> All right. That wire turns off when the key isn't in run position, but it stays on during um, starter request. So this tan wire with the white stripe, I'm going to hook up my constant 12 volt to, and then that white one with the pink stripe back there is going to be my starter request. And uh, from there... I believe that is most of the wiring we need to look up. I'm going to look up the last one we need to find. We'll find it, and we'll figure out what's going on. All right, so... Oh, sorry. I just did some... Uh, I just looked back at the diagrams. Oh, okay. Enough of that, for real. I just looked back at the diagrams, and the only other wire you really need to worry about is this guy. Uh, this is going to be your fuel pump positive. You can basically connect this wherever. I'm probably gonna do what um, CJ Pony Parts did on their crimp staying and put it in the back of the car next to the relay. Or I can find what, I think it goes underneath the seat too, I can really say. But that sounds like that's gonna be the plan for today. Um, so basically, and like I said, um, I didn't mention it before, but this, you only have to hook up the three wires. This is the fuel pump positive and these are the two ignition you know, whatever the hell it is, um, ignition relay trigger, and the starter request. I believe this gets hooked up to the constant 12 volt, this gets hooked up to the 12 volt on start. This is just a fucking tachometer lead, um, you don't need this, especially when you're just trying to get it running, but just this and these two are the only ones you really need to worry about. And we'll get those through, and we'll see what we can do. We'll, we'll test these, um, I'll get these connected, and then in the next video, or in this one, depending on when I want to upload it, um, I will go through and I'll turn the key on, and then I'll test for, you know, voltage here, make sure everything's good. But, so far, that's the wiring. Hey guys, so we're skipping ahead a little bit, um, next day after the clips I recorded yesterday, I have power to the pack so the old video um or the old clip that should be in this video is i wired all of these up at least the two that you need to wire and then i went back here and i don't remember if i included it in the clips or not but i wired up the um 
the fuel pump on off. And so what I did for the fuel pump was I just ran it all the way back to the inertia switch. And I just cut the green wire on the inertia switch and connected them. This was the only wire that CJ Pony Parts entire control pack install video was useful for. And that's only because the color of the wires were the same. <laughs> but, um, so basically you just, you can just cut that green wire, come out of the inertia switch and plug it into the regular green wire for the control pack. Should have already showed you guys the connections down there. And then what I did up here was kind of janky. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm leaving the stock 97 PCM in there. And I'm also running the control pack. Sounds a little weird, but I'm doing that so that I don't have to rewire all of my accessories. This is just so the car moves. But um, what I did was... In the instructions, this is not the control pack that gives you the battery wire, so you have to wire it up yourself. Because, I mean, you know, it's the cheaper control pack. But what I did was I came along the battery cable, and it actually hooks up to my first power distribution box for the 4.6. And so I followed another wire that happened to have an inline fuse in it, and I actually... This green wire is the same wire coming out of that fuse. It just changes for some reason. But I just tapped into it, routed this wire, this, this sorry, this wire to the control pack. And now I have power. Because what, what this control pack instruction wants you to do is it wants you to get two battery cables, like the thick ones, like these. Um, and then they want you to connect it to the battery, put like a four AWG uh, inline fuse and a holder in the middle of it and then connect it straight to the control pack and that's that's hard because a lot of stores actually aren't going to carry four uh four awg fuses let alone holders and you know you're not going to find convenient battery cables as well so i just tapped into an existing one and it fucking works fantastic um this is fused so if I end up fucking breaking anything, hopefully it won't, it'll melt the fuse before it melts the control pack. But, um, so that's pretty much it. You just have, I just came off of the existing power distribution box and piggybacked off of that for my new one. And now we have power. So hopefully that should be the 12 volt constant, um, the run position, AKA starter request, the fuel pump, and then um, at getting actual power to this distribution box. So hopefully this helped anybody, and um, that should be it for this one.